this is a short descriptive video about a um, flip clock world a well-known still somewhat rare clock um, essentially it is a Copel 101 which was licensed out to the um, um, clock making company Sunbeam um, not sure if they still make clocks but they've made clocks for a really long time and they made some very funky clocks in the 1950s 60s and 70s and uh, even some in the 80s uh, actually still um, this is essentially a couple 101 uh, the main difference being that this um, bezel is black um, the font on the flaps the flaps are black and the font on the flaps is different so the flaps are actually rare to source if you're missing those um, you're up for a challenge um, and the knob on the side is completely different actually way cooler than the 101 um, and there's so the Sunbeam logo, uh, of course, on the um, um, on the glass, etched on the glass, printed on the glass, whatever they did. And this clock was available in some funky colors. Uh, also the white one here, of course, which is original. And these were colors that were not available in the uh, Copal 101. Um, this clock very rare. On the inside is essentially a Copal 101, uh, apart from the flaps. It's got a Copal motor inside. It's got a light inside, and um, the motor was um, cleaned and lubricated. The first gear, which tends to break down every once in a while, or every once in a while, you know, every clock in a while, uh, I best say, was replaced with a brand new one. So not an original old stock, but a brand new one. Uh, so that's good to go, hopefully, for another uh, 40 years. The motor was lubricated. The wiring has been replaced. It's got a new light. A uh, new resistor, it's got a new cable on the outside, a new plug, the glass was um, uh, polished, um, the case was cleaned on the inside, the bezel was cleaned, the case was polished on the outside. Essentially this clock looks, um, I suppose it's close to new as you can get with a 50 year old flip clock. It looks really, really, really good and it looks stunning in white as well. I mean, I, I prefer the funky colors that were available, but this white one turned out so good that, you know, I, I if I were looking for a clock like this, I wouldn't mind getting a white one and, and you know, uh, um, um, I suppose paying good money for that. They are rare. Uh, the 101 is rare, uh, 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 the Copal 101, and I, I, I would venture to say, uh, go as far as to say, this one is even rarer than the um, the 101. Um, it took me a long time to hunt down uh, one of these. I actually ended up buying a set of two, uh, both needing repairs. Now I already had one of these for parts, which I bought a long time ago. So I was able to use the parts to complete these two. Um, an orange one and a white one. The orange one is gorgeous as well. Um, but it looks very different from these. As a pair, I suppose they could do a noise as well. Um, having said all this, this is an American clock, so 110 volt 60 hertz. You can use it anywhere in the world where you have an outlet um, giving 110 volt 60 hertz. Otherwise, you would need an adapter. There's no switch to switch it to 50 hertz, so you might need an adapter for the hertz as well. It's got a US um, plug. Um, yeah, I suppose that's it. And this clock will obviously be for sale in my shop. Um, 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 uh, in any case on Etsy and it will be in the higher price region because of the condition of the clock also because of the rarity of this clock it has a real um, collector's value as such um, thank you for watching if you have any questions let me know